Hey, what's up? My name's Jen. Uh, this video is going to be just a fiber haul because I am recently starting to get into spinning. Well, not recently. I kind of started like last, the end of last year. But now I got like a whole bunch of fiber and I got my wheel came in the mail last week, which is so exciting. And I actually played around on it a little bit. I had to, um, I had to put a stain on it first and then like a, a clear coat before I assembled it just so that it'll protect it I guess which I'm glad I did because the wheel I got um, is the Ashford Kiwi 2 and it was unfinished I got the unfinished version um, but yeah I've been trying it out with some of the fiber that I had um, some of it well actually all of the fiber that I had I ordered online um, but today, at the local uh, knitter's fair in my town, they had a whole bunch of fiber there, so I have quite a bit to show you. <laughs> I stayed within budget, which I'm happy about. I actually was running low, like I had um, cash on me and I was running low, so I knew it was time to go, and I'm glad there weren't any ATMs there or else I would have gone over budget. But. I guess I will jump right in and show you some of the fiber that I got. Um, and it is it was a knitter's fair, but I don't knit, I crochet, and now I spin, so that's exciting. And there might be a lot of cr crinkling because these are all in plastic bags. I just, I just left, so I'm in a parking lot in my car, if you haven't noticed. Um, these are in random order, like I was just walking around, there was so much to look at, so much yarn, and I didn't buy any yarn um, I didn't buy any yarn because I have so much yarn that I have so many projects to make with and now my newest obsession spinning so we'll start with this fiber um, what is it I don't even know it I just grabbed a whole bunch of random fibers just to um, just to practice because that's the best way to learn I guess right I mean this has a bunch of, uh, like, veg matter, I think is what it's called in it. So I'll have to pick that out when I'm spinning, but this bag was only three bucks. So that's a really good deal for just practicing something. So that's that. Um, these I was really excited about because they're so pretty. I hope you can hear me because it's windy too and I have my window open because it's really hot in here. <laughs> um, this one is 62% merino, 33% silk, and 5% camel, which w which is interesting. Camel, I mean, it's very, uh, here, let me take one out. Purpley, blue, like, very, very pretty. And this is, oops, I lost the tag. Well, this is where I got it from. And it comes like this, rolled up like that. I don't want to handle it too much, so I'm just going to put it back. <laughs> Came with two of those in one bag. And this was $12 for this bag. And, oh, here it is. I already took it out. I got this second one. Oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> here. It is... Sorry, there's like cars driving around. Gray and white, and it actually has a little bit of that purple in there. So I thought that was pretty, and they might go together. I might uh, do singles, a single with the purple and with the gray, and then ply them and see how that turns out. And I am very new, so I hope it turns out okay. Like, I'll practice on... Whoa. I'll practice on the um, uglier, not that it's ugly, but I mean like, not this super nice stuff first. <laughs> um, what's next? I got... So the memory card on my phone decided to fill up when I'm in the middle of filming a video. How lovely, isn't it? Um, well, I'll try and get through the rest of this fast because I don't know how many or how much more space I have left. Um, I forget, I think, I think I didn't show you these yet. 
Um, I went to a booth called Gemini, well, a booth for Gemini Fibers, and I got some Cordell Top, just plain white. Um, 100 grams, yeah, for 550. Super soft and fuzzy. And then I got this purple Polish Merino carded, um, 100 grams. Kromsky, I don't really know what any of that means. Carded, um, Heather, I don't know what, why Heather is on there. This seems a little not as soft as the white, but this is a really pretty purple. If you can see that. Oh, that sparkle is from something else that I got that I will show you in a second. And the third and final thing that I got from the Gemini Fibers booth was this cotton sapima combed oh cotton combed sapima. Am I saying that right? I'll show you the there. <laughs> 50 grams. And this is so soft. I'm really excited to work with this. This is what it looks like before it's made into yarn. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I went to, I believe I got this from the booth that Wellington, yeah, Wellington Fibers. That's what everything, I had everything in this cool bag. Wellington Fiber with the sheep on it. That's what I was carrying everything around in. And I only got one thing from there, which I don't know why they gave me such a huge bag, but they did, which was handy. 100% um, carded wool, uh, 100 grams for $8. And it's this like bluey, bluey gray color. It comes in, I didn't realize it comes in like these little, I don't know what you call them bumps I think or I don't know but that looks like it has some veg matter in it too so I'll have to pick that out as I'm spinning it but for the price it was a very good deal I think and oh I have one of these things for the Woodstock Fleece Festival it's coming up next month which I hope I can get to and I'm really excited that's just a bookmark. You're not interested in that. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Oh, I'll show you that thing that... And why is everybody honking their horn? <laughs> I'm in a parking lot, if you haven't noticed. Um, the thing that has all the sparkles on it, and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look how lovely. I think this is called Angelina or something? The, the sparkle part? Um... It is so soft and fluffy, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna spin this yet, but this is the booth that I got it from. And yeah, I'm really excited to spin this up. It's so nice and soft and squishy. Okay, um, two more things, and then, actually three more things, and then I will let you be on your way. I knew when I, oh, can't look at that yet. <laughs> I knew when I went there I wanted to pick up some braids of, well, uh, roving and I found there were so many there that were so pretty but I only, uh, I limited myself to two and this one, look at the colors on this. It's like purpley, like, oh gosh, it's so lovely. This is from Three Irish Girls. Cool. Um, it is four ounces, and the colorway is Heartbreak Hotel, which is cool. Spring Veil Roving, 100% superwash wool. So that'll be nice to spin up. And then I got this braid. This is like the first thing that caught my eye, um, just because of the colors. They had so many pretty colors there. It just got really windy all of a sudden, so I hope you can hear me. I'll do my window up a little bit. Pretty orangey and like yellow and purple in there. I have a fuzz. 
too much fiber. <laughs> and this is by Noob. I think that's how you say it. So four ounces, 100% um, pure merino wool. And it says it's made in Uruguay. Ur yeah, Uruguay. And the name I think this is, is Archangel. That's a cool name, if that is the name. Here's the website. I don't know. I might, I might need that later because this is very nice. I can already tell I'm going to love spinning this. Um, and then the last thing that I got from the Knitter's Fair. It's so cute. That's adorable. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything. I hope you liked this haul. I know I will love spinning up everything, hopefully. Especially this cotton I'm excited for. And, oh, I, ha I have you guys on the um, my rear view mirror right now, so I had to take down this little guy. My little jellyfish that I made. Uh, crochet. This is just like a sneak peek for my next video of my finished crocheted items and works in progress part two. So yeah, this little guy is hanging on my rear view mirror. Keeps me company when I'm driving. I want to make more of them, but these tentacle things just take forever for me and it's just so time consuming. But yeah, he's cute. So yeah, that's everything. Oh, and I, I, well, I'll show you this in my next video, but here's a sneak peek of a bag that I made. Sneak peek, if you want to see the whole bag, then stay tuned for my next video of crocheted items that I've done. Anyways, thank you for watching and hopefully you like this video and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye-bye.